A number one on the list is the Unawatuna Beach famous for its white sand and turquoise blue water. You can find quite a few water sports to choose from, or just stay by the beach and relax. Next, rent a motorbike and head to Dalala Beach which is famous for its palm tree swing. Do give it a try for this is an unique experience and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. From here, head towards Mirasa Beach which is quite a touristy hub. You can find the Instagram worthy coconut tree hill. Don't miss the sunset here, as it's one of the best sunsets you'll ever see. Up north, head straight to Kirimalai Temple in Jaffna which has a miraculous pond to bathe in. The sea water enters this pond and is the primary source of water for this pond. The water level of the pond is directly proportionate to the water level of the sea. Next. You can take your bike for a ride onto the sea bridge connecting the small pieces of island to the northernmost part of Sri Lanka. After this, Check out the huge white Buddha statue on top of the mountain in the city of Kandy which happens to be the second largest city of Sri Lanka, only after its capital Colombo. Now, grab a beer or fresh coconut and chill by the shacks at the Golden Sand Cabal Lana Beach in southern Sri Lanka. Now coming to the most important highlight of Sri Lanka, the Lion's Peak at Sijiri Rock and the Adam's Peak. You gotta start at 2am to cover 5000 steps as you'll be hiking up to the top of Adam's Peak for the beautiful sunrise. Next, check out the Gaul Dutch Fort in the southwestern coast of Sri Lanka. This fort was first built in 1588. Rambo Da Waterfall is one of the many waterfalls in Sri Lanka that has fresh water flowing throughout the year. You can get soaked at the Rambo Da Waterfall with your friends and get some good pictures clicked. Later, take a train to Ella. Ella is a hip little town that seems to be booming very fast. Here you can check out the Little Adams Peak. And the famous Nine Archies Bridge. 
you can click some good pictures on the tracks at the Nine Arches Bridge which is a trendy tourist spot. Save the last couple of days for surfing at the Welagama Beach which happens to be the surfing capital of Sri Lanka. This is a good place to learn surfing as it offers lot of surf schools with beginner waves. And just like that you have spent 15 days in Sri Lanka covering the most of the country in just about 2 weeks. <laughs> <laughs>